But they're, yeah. they're, my, my grandparents were, they, they had a, a book. There was a book, an atlas. A green, they called it the Green Book, I think. And it was a place marked, like a book that marked all the safe places for black people to travel when you navigate and get, where can you go to get gas? Where oh. can you go to, to eat? Where, where can you go to use the restroom? That's insane, isn't it? Like, like every little thing. But yeah. these, so you, so it isn't like we do just but get on the phone, uh, I get Southwest Airlines, I get on the plane, I go do what I want to do. I like, like, this is a th- like, they didn't have that option. They, they, they're like, we, we had to be careful where we pulled over to get gas. Mm. We traveled at nighttime because they didn't want people to see their black faces in the, like, these are the things that, that, that they had to, and that was, by the way, while it did happen in the South a lot. I think the South gets too much beef because that happened in California too. Mm. It happened like so. So this is what I'm saying. It's 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 not that long ago. And my 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 mother was in the car with them and doing yeah, like, yeah. living like that. Like like so when I hear people say, "Haven't we made progress?" <laughs> my white friends always tell me this. But don't you think we make progress? I literally look at them. I'm like, you're just not acting as psychotic as your fucking grandfather was. <laughs> and they're like, that's... well, I'm like, that's all. It was like, you're just not as crazy as they mm. were. If I stab you and I put the knife in you all the way and I pull it out two inches, have you made progress? No, you're still fucking stabbed. I just not, it's just not as deep, but just, that's not progress. Yeah. And I'm not less of an animal, I stabbed you. So this is the thing, it's like this perception that people have of, of what blackness is or what Asian is or what Latino is and all, like, because it helped it for, for, for ignorant people, it helps them to try to put everyone in a category. Yeah, okay. Right? Blacks do this, whites do this. Da, 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 da. Like, and I, and I, it's, racism is like this mystery. It's like Celine Dion, right? Celine Dion sold like, I don't know, 80 million records, but I don't know anybody that fucking admits to buying one. They all like it didn't happen. I'm like, who are these people that bought Celine? Yeah, I don't yeah. know anybody that will admit to buying yeah. a Celine Dion record. So therefore, like, but she sold them. It's there. Like, in the '60s, you saw these angry white people and 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 and, and uh, like they wear KKK like robes and stuff. Yeah. What, well, what happened to their robes? Mm. What became of those people? What they're jobs still, did they still have? Around, they? Aren't yeah, they? I'm like, did they? Did they? Just like the Nazis. Like right? you don't see them at the Goodwill. You know what I mean? Right. Like you don't see them at the thrift store. Yeah. What happened? They hid. You know what they did was like they took the robes off and they put their suits on, and and and. Americans act like, well, that's illegal now. I'm like, yeah, right. So the law passed, and everyone woke up the next morning and was like, you know what? All that lynching and burning and all the nigger stuff that we've been doing, let's stop that because it's illegal. Stop. Mm. Bro, stop. It's deeply embedded in the country. It's it's like the foundation. If 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 we build this building here that we're sitting in on a shit foundation, no matter how nice that building is, one day it's gonna crumble. Yeah. Why? Because the foundation is bad. Yeah. So so I, f- I find it, you know, it's frustrating to me sometimes because you can't, when you express that you that you disagree, they go like, you just hate America. No, oh, you, if you're critical of police, you hate America. I don't hate the country. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm demanding that the country live up to the values that it professes to have. Mm. That's the most American thing ever. I want, I, w- I, don't, I don't want equal results. You can't guarantee equal results because not everybody hustles the same. Yeah. But opportunities are are important. Oppor- like this, this idiot Whitlock, I saw him on. He's like, well, you know, the people are claiming that the NFL is racist. The NFL is not racist, and it's not been that way for for you know for uh, fifty around fifty years. And I'm like, really? Because he was he was using that black coaches are being hired now, so therefore the NFL is not racist. But it hadn't been racist since the '70s. I'm like, really? In 1970, like I get a black friend that's yeah, not racist. 1972. Yeah. How many black coaches were in the NFL? Fucking zero. They hadn't even hired one yet. Mm. That didn't happen until Art Shell, like in the eighties, late eight, late eighties, and then he was one of one for a long time. So, so then you say relative to the amount of black athletes that are there, why aren't the coaches like they had to make a Rooney rule so that black coaches could even get an interview? They weren't even getting interviews. Really, but it's not racist. It's just it, it, it drives me crazy, especially when I hear somebody black say something like that. I'm like, that's because you sold out, homie. That's yeah, because yeah. you've been making money banging white chicks and you think you made it. 